Hi, my name is Melody from First Aid Gone Wild, and we're going to talk about your first aid kit. Your primary resource for first aid supplies should be a first aid kit. There are many reference lists available of items that you should carry, but knowing how to improvise with what you have on hand is indispensable in a wilderness situation. Always be sure to have a reference guide on hand for emergencies. I use the free Red Cross First Aid app on my smartphone. It works offline so I don't need a signal. Now let's talk about that kit. What makes a great first aid kit? First of all, you want waterproof compartments. Your supplies are no good if they get wet. Your kit should be trip specific, taking into account weather, terrain, the number of days that you'll be out, and how many people it will serve. Know how to use everything in your kit. Don't meet your supplies for the first time in an emergency. Personalize it. Think about your medical needs. If you have a medical condition, leave a note explaining your condition, the medications that you take, and emergency numbers inside. Bring extra medications in case you get stuck out. Paper and pen to write things down. Lots of sterile absorption. You can't duplicate these in nature. Evaluate and repack for each trip. Renew your medications and replace damaged supplies. Remember, knowledge and skills are more valuable in an emergency than anything you have in your kit. So educate yourself on first aid. Now, let's talk about those 10 essentials because they work hand in hand with your first aid kit to protect your health and safety. The Wilderness Basics course suggests these 10 essentials. Navigation equipment, illumination, sun protection, extra nutrition and hydration, extra clothing including rain gear, fire, emergency shelter or blanket, repair kit and tools, and the first aid kit. So finally, what's inside? Latex-free gloves for your protection and an extra layer of warmth if needed. Antiseptic wipes for cleaning around those wounds. Sterile dressings. You can't duplicate these in nature and Kotex pads do double duty. OB tampons, great for periods, absorbing blood from wounds, and can be used to kindle a fire in a pinch. Sunscreen, SPF 30 plus. Nothing less, and it's part of my 10 essentials. Moleskin, or blister pads for those annoying blisters. Emergency blanket. I use a bivy sack type blanket for better protection. It too is in my 10 essentials. Tweezers for splinters and cactus, and scissors for cutting tape and dressings. Again, part of my 10 essentials. Are you getting the picture? Electrolytes for those long hot hikes. Anti-inflammatories for pain and swelling. Antihistamines for allergies. Anti-diarrheals. Just bring a few tabs. You don't need full bottles of anything. Antibiotic ointment for cuts, scrapes, and burns. Personal meds plus a day in case you get stuck out. Very important, blood stopper. I suggest a clotting gauze type. These are available at any drugstore. Remember, anything you put into a wound needs to come out. So think twice about those powdery types. Medical tape. Save your back and think small quantities. Here are a few extras I like to bring along. Band-Aids, Steri strips or butterfly bandages to close open wounds, insect sting relief pads, burn cooling gel for minor scalds and sunburn, and a couple of cotton swabs. For more information on first aid kits and supplies, please visit clubhouse.sierraclub.org. Read up on first aid and take a class to practice your skills. Happy trails!